Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. I have such a special treat for you guys today. Today, I am dropping a video with three quick and easy lunch ideas that you can make on your journey. Not only are they tasty, filling, super quick to make, but it's also low carb and keto. Before we even jump into this tasty, delicious video, if you guys have not seen my last video, which is a weight loss update, make sure you guys check it out. And also my video before that, I shared easy, tasty, delicious, low-carb fall recipes that you guys definitely need to try. I'll have them all linked down below. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. And a shout out to my bestie nights for joining me here on another video. Let's jump into this delicious goodness. Okay, so you guys know salads are no stranger to my channel. You know your girl Brooklyn loves a salad. And this is my spicy chicken ranch salad. Now what takes this salad to the ultimate level is the spicy ranch chicken tenders that we make and cut up for the salad. Baby, look at these tenders. Now I have shared my chicken tender recipe on my channel before. I'm gonna link the video. I'm not gonna go too in depth with it. I'm gonna link the video down below so that you can follow along with the recipe. But I'll also put the updated recipe that so that you can make it spicy ranch. It's so good. We're gonna use, we're gonna prep our ingredients for our salad, which the only real, real thing I had to prep was the chicken um, and the eggs. To fry it, I'm using grapeseed oil, but here's the kicker. I'm literally shallow frying these chicken tenders. You guys, you can shallow fry and still get the same results. Um, if this is not one cup or a half a cup, that's like, look, it's barely anything. I already seasoned my chicken tenders. I had them in the fridge from morning because I wanted them to be flavorful. But baby, look at the seasoning on it. Look at the seasoning on that. So we're not gonna count the seasoning time and stuff like that as far as cooking time because you can literally do this the morning of, pop it in the fridge and when you come home or when you have your lunch break or whatever, whatever, like in between, especially if those of you that's working at home, working from home, you got this. Here's my flour mixture that I'm in. Like I said, I'm gonna give you the full detail recipe. I gave you the full detail recipe for the flour mixture in um, a previous video. All I did was add ranch seasoning. And here we go. I battered these babies up. I let them rest for 15 to 20 minutes so that the flour, quote unquote, can stick. And now I'm shallow frying it. I do about a four minute per side flip, four minutes flip until everything is golden brown cooked through because you know, anything that's low carb or keto, the flour burns faster and your chicken's not gonna cook through, but I pretty much, it only took me about three tries to really try to fry chicken, like a keto style chicken or low carb style chicken and learn the technique. Um, I pretty much got it down packed. Like I know and have down packed, I know when it's cooked, but look at this. Y'all gonna get this tease, look at this. It's so good. You guys, you can make this fried chicken tenders and um, don't fry it all the way through. Fr let it cool down completely and freeze it and pop it in the air fryer when you wanna cook it. So simple. All I'm doing is dusting it off with a little bit more ranch seasoning. And I'm using the Trader Joe's one because I really, I like it. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, try it. If you are a person that loves the McDonald's snack wrap, girl or homeboy, pop one of these chicken tenders in a low-carb tortilla. Put ranch dressing on it, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Wrap it up and you got a McDonald's snack wrap. Boom. <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> but way better. Way better. These are so good macro friendly like you guys are really gonna enjoy it but look at my salad my salad was simple super simple onions avocado cherry tomatoes because that's the only type of tomatoes i like or baby tomatoes or whatever and um i put I, I put some eggs and some cheese and i put this whole thing together it is so 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 good i want you guys to try it like all i did was put a little bit of ranch dressing on it and boom the chicken is so flavorful you guys Look, don't take my word. Don't take my word. Try it for yourself. I know you all are going to freaking love it. Let's move on to the next lunch idea. Boom, that was so quick and easy to make. All right, so you guys know how I feel about my little grinder salad, the viral TikTok and Instagram grinder salad. I've made this a couple different ways on my channel before, but this is the closest to the original as you're gonna get. 
So you guys know, grind a salad, you need tomatoes, you need onions, you need your lettuce. I'm using romaine, I shredded it. And I'm adding jalapeno salmon because why not? You need banana peppers and all of that. I'm using cherry tomatoes because, again, that's the only kind of tomatoes I like. I'm weird. I don't like tomatoes, but I'm kind of like starting to kind of like them a little bit. But they got to be like cherry tomatoes. Anyway, I'm making a sauce. And in mine, I like to use a little bit of no sugar added relish, sweet relish. They make a no sugar added version. So if you're doing keto... Go ahead. I um, am only making um, enough for two servings. So you only see one tablespoon of mayonnaise. I have a tablespoon of spicy mustard because I like things spicy. My red wine, my Italian dressing, all of that. You know, all of the good stuff that goes into the grinder salad uh, mix. I leave measurements and amounts down below. It's pretty easy. And the, the thing about doing the grinder salad is that you can tailor it to your taste buds i like that so yeah and it's super quick it comes together so quick every like every meal that i'm showing you in this video like every lunch is literally a dump and go like literally a dump and go except for like the chicken and even that was kind of like a dump and go not gonna lie so i added my b banana peppers and then i'm just gonna give it a good mix and if you like, oh, girls, yours not creamy enough, just wait. Wait for it, honey, baby. It comes together. It releases the juices. It marinates in and boom, okay? This thing is so good. You can eat it just like that. Like, you literally could eat it with, like, some crackers or something. And you're like, oh, my gosh, it's so good. Like, no, for real. I've had it as just, like, a salad before. Add in a little bit of Parmesan cheese because it does call for Parmesan cheese. Like I said, the description box will have full ingredients and measurements amounts. Um, it might be a little bit more than what you see here because, because as I mentioned that this is for just two servings and yeah, doesn't that look good? I could eat that again right now. So, and it was a little spicy because of the, um, spicy mustard, but then I added red pepper chili flakes to it too. So it gave it a little kick. I'm not going to say spicy, but it gave it a little kick. Okay. So if you guys are not new to my channel, you know, I get these low carb bagels from this local bakery, bakery from this local bakery around my way. This is literally only 12 net carbs. It is a low carb bagel. It's so good. You guys are not going to be able to get the bagel that I'm using. So use your favorite keto bread or your favorite low carb bread, or you can get like Sola low carb bagels and duplicate this for me. I went with the bagels because it's the best. I'm using honey turkey because I don't like ham and none of that other stuff. I don't like roast beef. I don't like all of that. But use deli meats that you like, okay? I'm using 3.5 ounces of honey turkey. Now, if you are keto, you're not going to do honey turkey. You're going to do oven goats or you're going to do buffalo chicken, you know, not honey turkey, but I'm using honey turkey. I added a little bit, a little bit of pepperoni and two slices of white American cheese, and then it's going to go into my air fryer. Super simple. Doesn't that look good? Super simple. You guys, like I said, make it your own. Use pastrami, prosciutto, uh, roast beef, like buffalo chicken, um, pepper chicken. Like, you know, make it your own. Use your favorite deli meats. Top that bad boy off with the grinder salad. And don't be cheap. Baby, it's a messy sandwich, but it's so good. Load it up. Load it up. It's so good. It's so filling. And it is macro friendly, you guys. This was only, this was less than 15 net carbs, okay? Less than 15 net carbs for your girl. Look at this. Look, I mean, look how good it looks. Baby, I tore this up. I'm not even gonna hold you in. I was so full. When I tell you these low-carb bagels, because they're made with psyllium husk and pure fiber, it holds you. Like, it holds you for so long. So I was pleasantly full and happy satiated last up quick and easy lunch what probably my favorite on the menu today spicy ranch chicken dip you guys know i love making me a good dip but this dip right here baby oh it's addictive now i made my own chicken i'm gonna spare you guys pick up rotisserie chicken chop that bad boy up let it cool let it you know nice and cold um it don't have to be hot it's gonna cook through in the air fryer anyway I made my own chicken, wait for it to cool and shredded it up. So that took me some time. But get you some ch um, rotisserie chicken. Um, you need some finely minced garlic. You're going to need some finely minced um, spring onion. And then you're going to need some finely diced bell peppers and onions. Now me, I use my kitchen utensils where I'm not chopping and dicing anymore. There's no slavery going on in my chi my kitchen. I don't do that. All that slicing, dicing, chopping, uh-uh. We're going to put it in our contraption. And our contraption is going to do it for us. When I say you in the kitchen less than 20 minutes, I mean that. Okay? Nobody got time. All right? 
Here's the fun thing. Dump everything into the pot or the bowl and mix it, popping it in the air fry and go. It's that easy. I'm going in with a little bit of fat-free sour cream. I'm going in with a little bit of um, half the fat mayo. If you're keto, you can use full fat of everything. I'm using half the fat cream cheese. That's four ounces. And I'm using laughing two laughing cow wedge um, cheeses. I believe I used like the queso mix. I'll leave it down below. I'm going to add more heat to this because even though I put heat in my chicken, I'm putting more cayenne pepper. I'm putting more red pepper flakes because like I said, it's spicy. Plus there is jalapenos in here. Um, that's not just bell peppers and onions. There was jalapenos in it too. And then I'm going to season it with some of my uh, ranch flavoring. And then I don't know why I didn't add that, but I added some ranch, actual ranch dressing to it. Those are the cheeses I'm using. If you cannot find Trader Joe's unexpected cheese, it is the best. Get you some um, Vermont cheddar, um, white Vermont cheddar. Similar taste, but the Trader Joe's one got it, baby. We're not going to put too much cheese in it because it is already a cheesy dish because of the cream cheese, the queso cheese, the, like, you don't need that much cheese. Don't, don't mess up the recipe. Like, you just, like, come on, some of y'all got to chill with the cheese. Like, you don't got to do too much. We just want to top a little bit off so we can get a nice bake in the air fryer. And it's going to go into the air fryer for 18 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes, 380 degrees. Come out looking like this, baby. Mm. I love eating this with raw veggies like carrots broccoli i don't like celery but those of you that like celery please put this dip on some celery and get your life okay get your life baby when i tell you this is so 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 good mm. honey if you have some low-carb tortillas because there's brands that are making keto tortillas now low-carb tortillas get your whole life I promise you, y'all gonna love me. That's it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Like I said, down below in the description box, everything you need to know is there. Give me a thumbs up, all right? I'm, I'm coming through with some heat. Like it. Thumbs me up, baby. Show some love. And I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.